Hey guys, welcome back. It's That Super Podcast. It is Friday, August 8th, That's and right. we're doing our favorite segment, everybody's favorite segment. Everybody's favorite. It's called The Best Of, and of all the segments that we've done, it's the one that we get the most feedback on, the most viewer information on, the yeah. most everything. Absolutely. You guys love it, which I think is great. Yeah, it's, it's great. We kind of flew this one out there on a whim, and we it didn't was expect an it to blow up. Yeah, it really was. It was like, ah, what are we going to do Friday? Uh, oh, let's do, let's do like a weird top five list. Yeah. So this one comes to us from a viewer on Facebook. Her name is Michelle. Yep. She's a, a big viewer of us. And she wanted to know our top five movies coming up. So Yeah, so and I took this to be movies that are in production. So, you know, as an example, a movie not in production that I'm looking forward to just to start off is like Big Hero 6. We were just talking about it in the yeah. break. But that's not going to be on our list because that's already out of production. It's coming out in like a month or so. Yeah, I, I, I so, said, okay, well, I'm not going right. to pick any movie in 2014. Right. I'm going to go for farther out right. from that. I went into things that are in production. Yeah. Like, not, you know, not either out pre, yet. post, have, yeah. or during. So, so I want you to go ahead All right, you want me and start. start. All right. I'm going to start off. So my first one on my list is Jurassic World, which is basically Jurassic Park 4. This is not a reboot. It is, in fact, a sequel. Yep. And it stars none other than Guardians Chris of the Pratt. Galaxy, Chris freaking and Pratt. they showed a still of him on the Twitter and said, see you next summer, Star-Lord. Yeah, I mean, dude, because... <laughs> You're going to talk about somebody who's about to blow up in Hollywood right now. It's Chris Pratt. It's Chris Pratt. I mean, he's first of all, he's adorkable, but he's also hunky. He's ripped now. He's ripped like a mofo. And he can French braid hair, apparently. Yep. I did not know that. It was an interview he did. He French braided an intern's hair while he was doing wow. the interview. It was all actually right. kind of neat. So <laughs> I guess he has I'm, sisters. But that comes out June, 15, June 2015. So let's, uh, all right, let's look so out for Jurassic To begin World. my top five list, I've got Fast and the Furious 7. Now, I don't want to start on a down note. We all know what happened with the whole Paul Walker situation. What I'm excited to see, though, is probably what you're excited to see. Is Which is? Well, they so they, they hired his two brothers to come in one and do brother. stand-in. One th brother. Oh, just they one? They didn't I get both. They oh, got I'm sorry. one. It was to do stand-in. And they're going to do they CGI? Decided, they kind of are doing CGI, but they're cutting the character out. They're sending the character off. Right. Uh, with with a bang. Well, and they're the doing movie. that because this is not maybe going to be the last Fast and the Furious movie after all. I don't think it will be the last Fast and the Furious movie so after all. I think we'll see an eight. Yep. And this one comes out. Release date is going to be April 3rd. 2015. Right. So what's the next one? That one's one in post-production. We're looking forward to that. I agree. The next one for me is the first of a trilogy reboot, Terminator. Ooh. That comes out next July. I'm super excited for this because they kind of ruined Terminator for a while. We don't, and we don't talk about <laughs> Rise of the Terminator. We really don't. And, you know, for me, this I'm the reason I'm excited for this was the same reason I loved the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Because they did such a good job with that, it was a complete restart. It was a you know, and that's what this is going to be. I thought the reason that you were in love with this new movie is because Matt Smith's going to be in it. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm super excited to You're see Matt Smith. You're taking your time traveler already and putting him in more time travel situations. It's not like he doesn't know what he's doing working with this kind of script. I know, script. I know, right? So, um, but I'm, 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 I, I, yeah. So it is coming out in July. Twenty. Mine are chronological, by the way. This is July 2015. Mine are not chronological. I actually kind of threw them up. Yeah. So this is a movie that most people probably wouldn't suspect me okay. as, as to like. All right. Uh, the next one on my list is actually going to be Pitch Perfect Two. I really. I'm not going to lie. I've been watching. I've been. I've been following the notes from Elizabeth Banks on Facebook about this movie. I so. fell in love uh, with Pitch Perfect One. I thought it was great. great. I love Anna yeah. Kendrick. And this yeah, one's actually coming absolutely. out May fifteenth of two thousand fifteen. Yep. Um. Yep. So five fifteen fifteen. And I'm really, really excited for it. I know it sounds weird. No, I think it, but I think it's a good I, I kind of dig on the musical situation. I really yeah. love the acapella kind of thing. It going gives, on. it kind of gives us the excuse to to hate on Glee still and like that kind of stuff. Still like Pitch Perfect, yeah. Yeah, you know. So. <laughs> so what's your next one? All right. Uh, moving on is in. Uh, well, actually, I, I said they're chronological. I just lied. This one's May twenty fifteen too. Good job screwing it up for the rest of us. Avengers. Age of Ultron. All right, so we because, got Avengers two coming. I out. mean, Avengers two is coming. It's There's a lot of secrecy built around it too. Yeah, but it, I, I must see this movie. Well, James Spader is so. Ultron. We know that somebody's gonna right. die. Um, Somebody's are probably going to yeah, die. Yeah, somebody's are going to die. Yep. And that's the thing. Joss Whedon always kills one character, but there's the hints going around that he's murdering two people. Yeah, yeah. The hints and going around he's murdering two the people. The hints out there is it's going to be Iron Man and Captain America. Right. Your two biggest, two biggest he, uh, super right. factions on that team gone. Yep. yep. Just done. Done. So we'll see. We'll see if that happens. What's the re release date on that again? Oh, that's May 2015. All right. So I haven't talked about dick and fart jokes in a while. So my third movie on my top five <laughs> is gonna be is gonna be the crudest teddy bear you know, and that's gonna be Ted, Ted two. Ted two. Nice. Um, basically, it's Peter Griffin's personality got shoved into a teddy bear, right. 
and um, it's got Mark Wahlberg, who I love. Although I'm gonna give him a pass for Transformers 4 because it was probably one of the worst movies I ever wasted yeah. my life seeing, and I absolutely regret it. That one's coming out June 26, 2015. Is Mila Kunis coming back for that one? No, or not? she is not. That's what I thought. Uh, I thought. Amanda Seyfried will be taking the place. Mm -hmm. I like of Amanda. Mila Kunis. I like, I like her. And I'm really excited about this because you know this movie. Him is she gonna be dead in that? Is Veronica Mars gonna come in and? I <laughs> Sorry. Oh wow, that's that's a throwback. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. What's the next one on your list? All right. Next one for me is Mad Max Fury Road, starring none other than Charlize, Charlize Theron, Theron, who looks absolutely amazing. If you've seen the posters and for is this she yet, bald in that movie? she is shaved. To I hate to stubble. say it, but it looks good. It it looks amazing. Well, yeah, she is. Some women can look amazing bald, and Charlize Theron, by the way, is one of those women. I guess it's really the so. case situation on that. But this, uh, so here's interesting. Explosions, um, explosions, Sunday, Sunday, yeah. Sunday. This is also May 2015, and this, too, is a pseudo-sequel, pseudo-reboot. They're saying it's a kind of reboot, but right. it's basically a sequel in the whole trilogy right. slash right. quadrilogy so line. The good news is Mel Gibson, not in the movie. You'll buy the whole seat, so. but you'll only need the edge. Right, yeah. I'm super excited for this movie. I'm, not I'm kind lie. of excited and about I, it, but I'm at the same time, I watched the trailer, and I was like, eh. I just, yeah, whatever. They didn't show me enough of uh, Tom Hardy. I want to see more Tom Hardy. All right. I'm okay. He kind of spends mm -hmm. the entire trailer getting the crap kicked out of him. But I think there's a reason for that. I think there is, too. So, so this is one that, I, you know, I do this because I'm the movie nerd and I dig up stuff that nobody's heard of and nobody yeah, expects. Right, right. This is a movie. Uh, it's coming out by DreamWorks, and it's called Boo. It's B-O-O, -O, the Bureau of Otherworldly Operations. I don't know anything about this movie, I'm um, going to be honest. I, it's I, based on a completely original idea. The film's going to be starring Seth Rogen, uh, Melissa McCarthy. A completely McCarthy, original idea Bill in Hollywood? Murray. Wait, did you just say Seth Rogen, Melissa McCarthy, and Bill Murray That's in correct. the same? Doing yes. I, I assume voices. Voices this is animated, for an, right? uh, okay. a, a computer anime film. The Bureau of Otherworldly Operations is a top All secret right. government agency which employs ghosts to protect humans from evil hauntings. Of course it does. <laughs> so it's basically like um, Get Smart meets uh, just crazy meets ghost meets funny Hellboy. comedy. Yeah, I could, I could, I mean, it is. It's a children's it's version of Hellboy in a way. Oh, my God. And I think it's going to be great. Speaking of, there's a Hellboy 3 coming. Just putting that uh, out there. I don't think we're going to see it. No. So what's your last one? What's your big god? What's your top diggity dog? Star Wars Episode Seven. I'm not going to lie. This is December 2015. And no matter how good or how bad this movie is, I am, I am seeing this opening day. I am super excited for it. Set 30 years after. When your director says, I'm not going to come I back know, to do any more of I these know. movies because Disney and slash Marvel slash <laughs> whoever know. owns them these days at this I point know. is using him as a figurehead. I know. But you know who's going to have a cameo, so right? Everybody. Simon Pegg. Yes, I know. He's going to have – because he came out and they, somebody asked him about it straight up at SDCC right. and he goes – I'm not going to confirm it, but I'm not going to not confirm right, it. Right. So we yeah. know that he's yeah. going to have a cameo. And that's cameo. actually one of his life goals is to be in a Star Wars movie. Yeah, well, whose isn't it? I mean, good or bad or not, who does not want to be in a Star Wars movie? I, I would want to. I would want to do that. I want to go to there. I've entered, you know how many times I've entered the contest to get the walk-on role? Yeah. Like a one? Nope. No. Yeah. Of course not. But I still entered like a million times. Yeah. So I kind of cheated. Because uh, I do that. That's my thing. Right. So my last one is the entire summer lineup of 2016. Yeah, so that doesn't surprise me. And you know why? The entire lot, summer lineup is there's this. A, there's a lot of movies coming out in 2016. Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, a.k.a. Longest Title Ever, a.k.a. <laughs> right. Justice League, a.k.a. Will this movie actually get finished in time? Yep. Captain America 3, yep. X-Men Apocalypse, yep. Uncharted, yep. How to Train Your Dragon 3, yep. Finding Dory, yep. The Mummy Reboot. Which I'm not going to lie. Finding Dory just seems cute. I want to see, I, I, yeah. I wanna see that. So. Independence Day 2, Doctor Strange, Born yeah. 5, Ice yeah. Age 5, yeah, I know. third Planet of the Apes I movie. Know. I know. You don't Untitled care. I thought Legend you didn't like Le the Planet of the Apes reboots, Untitled though. Untitled Lego Ninjago movie? Yes, I saw that. I, I don't care. I, I want to see that. No, I'm a sucker I, I, for that I, I, cartoon. I'm with, I'm with you. I'm with you. You're also getting a few other things in 2016, but we won't go by. But I will tell you that um, a Transylvania 2 is in the works. I heard about that. Very excited. about. Oh, Beverly Hills Cop 4. Is also happening. Right. The maybe sequel, maybe <laughs> reboot. We still don't know. All we know is Axel Foley's going to be in it. And he's going to be 59 years old. He's going to be old. <laughs> he old as hell. <laughs> so, so we actually asked our audience before yeah. we started doing this because we're. Well, I, mean, I have we're some honorable show. mentions. Can oh, I, can yeah, I drop go ahead and get your honorable so mentions out. I got uh, honorable mentions for me are London Has Fallen, the sequel to Olympus Has Fallen. No. Just because I'm curious. And Ant Man because I have to know what happens to this movie. I'm going to see Ant Man. I have to know what happens to this movie. Because I. 
I have to see it. Right. But I, I do have a feeling it's not going to be good. Uh, and then not in production, but still <coughs> on my list, December 2016 and December 2017, respectively, Avatars 2 and, and 3. three. I am looking I'll, forward to those. I'll believe as those well. when I see them, James Cameron. That's why I said they're not in production. Yeah, yet. I was going to say said they're, they're not yet yeah. in production. He's like, yeah, we'll turn it around in a year. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. no, <laughs> no, they won't. No, so. that kind of quality. We'll see. So beforehand, we actually ask our audience to think we of uh, their top movie in post production or pre production. You know, that's coming out in the next little bit. And what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to have people raise hands. We're going to pass the mic around. They're going to introduce themselves. Yeah. And we're going to have them tell us. So it can be one movie, two movies, three movies, whatever. So who wants to go first? Who, who wants to? Who wants, wants to go, go first? first? Raise a hand. All right, All right we, Kirk, got, we got a hand. Kirk, go. Introduce yourself. Give me your, your top list of movies coming out. All right. Uh, my name is Kirk. Uh, number one I want to see is Now You See Me 2. Oh, that's going to be a huge yeah, yeah. fan of the first one. Same here. Second well, because now, now we get to get a look into the eye, right? Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. And the, the second one I really want to see, oddly enough, is the Jungle Book remake. Oh, the remake. Yeah, Ben yeah. Kingsley's going to be in that, right? And Who's playing Baloo? Bill Murray just signed on Really? As now, well. if Bill Murray plays Baloo, I'm in. I'm totally in. I'm yes. just saying. That's so. what he's playing. Really? Yeah, it was, it, it it was, was news to me. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was announced well, earlier. Then I'm in. I'm, I'm totally in. I mean, if you get Bill Murray playing Blue, I'm in. You got um, anything else for us? Crazy. Uh, those the big two other than, like, movies I don't want to see. But other than that, that's All the right. Ones. Well, give us one you don't want to see. Yeah. Um, I'm really not interested in Ant-Man myself at this point. It's there's just too yeah. much going on. No, I right yeah, we no, can, we understand. We understand completely. The reason I have to see I have it is to see it just I need to know what happened. Yeah, I'll see it. I know if it's, it's terrible. Just, I'm not excited yeah. about it anymore. I understand. Oh, I didn't say I was excited. That's why yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. On, that's why it wasn't on my list. It was in the honorable, honorable mention mentions. category. All right, who else we got out there? Anybody? Oh, introduce yourself. Yeah, this is Kenneth. Um, Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I saw this, and I don't know anything about this. I don't this, know anything but about I, this movie I heard either. That's a, it's that's based a on a book that is awesome. Nice. Um, Give me a little background on it, can you? You got any information uh, on it? It's kind of hard to explain, but the kind of the kick for me with the book is they took photographs that are real photographs of children from like the 1800s. Oh, wow. That's not disturbing that at all. That are really creepy. creepy nice. And like nice. wrote a whole story around them. Oh well, my, wow. Uh, yeah. All right then. That's, that's we up We got there. anybody else in the audience who wants to talk to us about movies they're excited for coming up? Anybody? Oh, we got, we got one in the bring back. Bring it in. Bring it in. Come Actually, on. We got, it's, uh, I think uh, that's I, I believe Casey you guys might from, know it. Casey, Casey from, from Bookworm. Bookworm. <laughs> She's going to come over here. The hey, guys. This is so Casey. Far. What's up? You guys um, probably are not going to be surprised by this, and I'm prepared to take a lot of flack. I'm unashamed. I am oh anticipating God, I a movie say. that's coming out. If you say Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty oh. Shades of Grey is coming out Ooh. in February. Have you seen the trailer for Fifty Shades of Grey yet? I have seen it. I'm completely unashamed. Oh, okay. It looks absolutely terrible. I, I'm, I'll take the hate. It's okay. You know what? I don't mind. Everybody's got their guilty pleasure, so I can't hate on you too no. much. But I watched the trailer, and it was Fifty Shades of Bored My Ass Out. Yeah. So. It, yeah. Well, it's because you don't understand the deep themes that the book... Did you I can't even say wait, that. Wait, wait, didn't you guys talk about this on Bookworm, and it actually turns out that it was like Twilight fanfic It or is. Something? It's Twilight fanfic. But I, I, I'm unashamedly See, in love with Twilight, too, so like it doesn't about. matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, at least so. it didn't have glampires in it. I'll get over it. All right. Anybody, anybody else got anything? Anybody else? Anybody? All right, All right. one more. We got one, one more. more. Uh, Chris here again. Uh, Box Trolls. Box Trolls. Can't Box wait. Trolls. Can't wait. I saw that preview so long ago. And 10 points for actually well, saying so, yeah. Peregrine's Home. Holy crap. The book was amazing. I can't wait to see the movie. I didn't even know it was coming yeah, out. Yeah, I saw I saw yeah. it this when I was looking stuff up. And <laughs> I will say this about Box Trolls. So yeah. you were saying you saw the, the preview for it a long Forever time ago. Forever ago. It's because they absolutely hand animate this stuff yeah. frame oh, by I know. frame. It is a frame by frame. frame. Which you could no, which, it's, um, it's going to be amazing. It is. It I really completely will. agree with you. Nut Job. That's when I the saw nut that. Nut Job that, 2 is coming out. That's when Hang I on, saw we got that one more. trailer. All right. Yeah, it's a test. Um, so, like. Uh, as happens every 10 years or so, a rumor goes around that they're going to make the Dragon Riders of Pern into yeah. a film. I've seen that recently. I've heard about this. So I'm hoping for that. But for something that might actually happen, man, I'm waiting for Denzel and the Equalizer. Yeah, yeah. that would be awesome. All right, That's so i got to ask move. you a question. As far as Dragon Riders go, would you prefer it to be a live action? Now, we know how bad that's turned out in the past. Or would you prefer to be an animated yet adult animated movie? I'll tell you... I, I'll go for live action just because, like, 
I saw Aragon, and that's a crap movie. Yeah, that's exactly what But I, they did a really good job interweaving the, the CG. The cinematics of Aragon the, were very yeah, good. The cinematography and I the agree. CG it was And we've only advanced. That was out yeah. in, like, 2005, 2006. Yeah. And that was so say. sad because I love Jeremy Irons, too. And that, that, You know what I mean? Like, uh, but Oh, yeah. It, no. It, yeah. It's great. I know. I, I just try to ignore the fact that he was in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Speaking of crappers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, that's so. a throwback. Oh, yeah. As, as a gamer for most of my life, I went to see that on opening day and wished I hadn't. I was going to say, that's like the ultimate disappointment. Yeah. You're like, I'm excited, I'm excited, and I'm going to It's kind of like home when you download the expansion of World of Warcraft. Yeah. So. All right, so I think that wraps it up for the top Absolutely. five of this week. That um, wraps it up for the whole week. Yeah, we're done. And don't forget, the reason we did this show where the backdrop's a little different is because uh, my buddy here. Yeah, we're going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I should specify, I'm going to be playing video games for I'm 24 gonna be hours sleeping. straight come October 25th. Make sure to tune in to us. We'll be doing it on the Twitch TV slash Crash, Ga uh, Crash Test Gamers channel. Um, and yep. you will be able to donate during the time of the event. Come join us in chat even if you can't donate. Um, we're probably going to have one more uh, live event outside of this. We won't be doing a show while right. we're doing it, but it'll right. just be a live event. And, um, you know, make sure to, to come check us out. You can go to the link on the page, donate through there yep. uh, if you can't join us live. And while and you're <laughs> clicking on stuff, why don't you click on the subscribe button? Or so just click like. On the, on the Facebook there and subscribe on YouTube. Or if you don't like the idea yeah. of the whole, uh, you know, saving children and by giving money or whatever, call us at 480-STUPID-9. Let us know what you want to and, – and let us know what you would like to see in our next best of. Yeah, we're always taking hear suggestions. So until Monday, that's it, people. All right, we're out. Holla. All right. I'm going to get drunk. <laughs>